Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Xanda, and I wanted to do a quick video of my unboxing of this guy. This is the Digimon Pendulum Color, the Nightmare Soldiers variant of it. This is from the first wave of Pendulum Colors. They haven't announced Wave 2 yet. If you missed out on this wave, I will tell you that these are a little bit more expensive now, because now we're dealing with aftermarket prices, because these were a premium Bandai release. Uh, I think they might still be up for pre-order on Premium Bandai US. Don't quote me on that. But you can still get them from all your favorite retailers. I have a buyer's guide video that I made a while back, but the things I recommended still count. Me personally, I did buy mine from Zen and TCG. Uh, so that is another option as well. This video is not sponsored. Honestly, sponsored by you. Sponsored by my lovely patrons. We'll do that. I wanted to do a quick video just showing off uh, what it is, you know, my first impressions of it. I did like a really classic unboxing where I just turned my camera on and just opened it because I really wanted some quality time with this. I wanted to kind of have a bit more of an intimate moment with this, I guess you could say. If you like what you see, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're not. I will be showing this off on my YouTube shorts. So check out my YouTube shorts if you haven't. Join the channel if you'd like to support the channel. And I will see you when I see you. Back to past me. Oh, Jesus. Got some mail. I am um, feeling very nostalgic about getting this. This is a, this is something I'm very happy about. I've been eagerly awaiting this. And this is the Digimon Pendulum color. I feel very nostalgic because one of my biggest unboxings that I did on the channel, something that I think helped the channel grow a lot, is when I unboxed the Pendulum colors. Or sorry, the Pendulum 20th back when those came out. So this is, again, this is very nostalgic for me. I'm doing an old school style where, <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. I only got this. This is the Nightmare Soldiers version because I prefer this roster. I don't like the Nature Spirits roster. Don't really care for it. I know for the meme, I should have gotten it. Maybe I'll get it down the line so we can raise our potato boy because it's inevitable almost on that device. As far as the other one, which is Deep Savers, I do think it's cute. I love the shell color. I'll tell you that much. And I do think it's a cute roster. Um, but if I had to pick one, it was going to be this one. Why? Wizard Mon, obviously, first of all. Second of all, look at that beautiful shell. Red and black. Are you kidding me? That's like my favorite color combo. You got a uh, Wizard Mon here. This is nice. Got a nice embossed look very evocative of the classic digimon pendulum boxes if you've seen any of my other unboxings uh the pendulum 20th came in a box like this the pendulum z's came in a box like this they're very very similar and yeah no more talk about the boxes we're gonna open this up and start it and i'm again very very excited because this is something I've been eagerly awaiting because the Pendulum's always had a better play value in my opinion. There's just a bit more to do with the Pendulum compared to the classic brick. I, I love what the Twinus did with the bricks, but I was very disappointed to, to see what they did with the bricks as far as the color release. I feel like that it was a little disappointing because this is just pretty much a classic Digimon V Pet, which like is fine, but like when you release this after the 20th, which is like just adds so much, it's still a little disappointing. Um, as far as look at that, I actually got some stickers. Look how cute that uh, that Camelon sticker is. So let's see what we got. We got Babamon, cute, and Seijimon. That's funny. And then Gazimon. I love Gazimon. Yay! That's cute. And Gamelon, this is two of my favorites. I love that. I don't know where I'm going to put those, but I do love that. Huge shout out to Zen and TCG. Thank you so much. And then let's get this open. Now, I remember there's a trick to open this without creasing up here, but I don't think I I have something that could do that right now. You can get like a butter knife and put it in there and then pry it open like that. Uh, so I'm just going to very carefully just try to wedge this open um, without messing this up this is the one thing about the pendulum boxes that i will say you gotta be careful opening these they're very pretty you know oh so i love how it says look at that nightmare soldiers logo is that how the og was i love that what i never noticed that but yeah you want to be careful opening these because it's very very easy to mess this up i keep saying that i'm jinxing myself here i'm scaring myself i should open it at the bottom there we go put my finger in here and then pull it up there we go didn't mess it up too bad, which is good. So then we'll get up. Open 
this. Pull this out of the little sheath. So this, if it's like the other colors, it should have a USB type C in here, which it does. That's down here. There is an instruction manual. I wonder what's in there. I'm not opening that. I'm not gonna bother. Probably not really any of the instruction manual. It probably just says buy our other stuff. Um, so I'm gonna need that in there too, because I already have two, because I have two of the OG colors. Open this up. I love whenever they do something like this on devices. It's always my favorite little gimmick. And I gotta say, this feels amazing in the hand. I do like how this feels a lot. It um, it doesn't feel. I don't know. There's something. I don't. I don't get what it is. I don't know what it is, but there is just something about the plastic on a device like this, like the pendulum. There's something about the plastic quality that is always a little bit less good than like a brick. I don't know what it is. I think it's just the texture, but the, the, the plastic here is denser than this. This doesn't feel as cheap as the, the Pendulum 20th, thank God, because that was awful, but it does not feel as sturdy and as rugged as the bricks do. The bricks, I, I, I could confidently drop this on the floor and not have to worry about the shelf. I don't think this could survive a drop. So I will give you that right now. That's my main thing. That's always my main thing when it comes to, whoa, that is loud. I think that might be louder than the color. I would say that this, just be careful. If you own these or, have, or are thinking of getting one, so that it doesn't feel, it feels again, better than the pendulums, but not, or pendulum toys, but not, not as solid as I'm hoping. It does not have a lot of uh, kind of swirling or marbling though, which is good. Is this gonna start? Oh, okay. So uh, I'm filming this very late, but uh, for the purpose of this video, it's 10 a.m. And there we go. That is the egg. That is the egg for Nightmare Soldiers. I love, I love this design. I love this so much. You know me. I love my bad boys. And this device, the original version of this, used to be so expensive. Thankfully, the classic pendulums are starting to drop in price. So that makes me a lot, a very happy. But... Yeah, we're just going to wait for this to hatch real quick, and um, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with this purchase, I will say. If they do a Wave 2, I'm definitely going to be getting the Virus Busters. Um, I also have to get the Virus Busters for the Pendulum Z, but we'll get into that uh, maybe on another, on another video. We'll compare this to the lineage of Pendulums, because thankfully I at least own one of each release. If you didn't buy this, this was a pre-order item, so they're going to be more expensive now. Um, I recommend Zenin. I think they're on Japan you want. And they might still be on Nin Nin game. Here we go. We got a little cloud baby. Mm, I can't remember his name. It is in English this time, which I like. The album is in the stats uh, area, which I do like. I'm glad they added an album in here. The lack of an album in the classic was felt very much. Uh, it was kind of annoying not having an album. And... As you can see, it just shows the actual kind of sprite instead of saying food and vitamin it, it will just actually show the sprite a very kind of simplified it's very interesting because these never released outside of japan but there's a lot of english and there's a lot of menus on the classic one too that kind of evoke that all right let's go all right so the cool thing about the count as you can see it changes colors while you're shaking it so it pretty much tells you how to get a mega hit consistently. I like that. I don't know how classic hardcore pendulum fans feel about that because I know a lot of hardcore pendulum fans prefer the really, really difficult kind of OG style that the original pendulum has. Because like, by the way, if you're getting a classic pendulum, those things are super hard. Just keep that in mind. All the newer releases have been all pretty easy. So this is going to be probably very easy to run. Uh, we can't battle yet because he's still a baby. If we poop, it won't do anything yet. This is for the lights. You can turn them on or off. There also is the cold storage option, which will put him away in the fridge. The fridge was uh, actually, funny enough, introduced in the Pendulum 20th. So it's cool to see, again, that kind of come back. And then let's go to, I think that's it. So then we'll hold C, just like the last one. And that'll get us to this menu. Pretty much the same as the classic. We'll hold this down. As you can see, but the thing is, it's in English, so everyone that's freaking out, oh my god, what is these these runes? What does this mean? It's it's just it's simple. It's it's now it's in English anyway. Um so this is gonna change, gonna change your background. 
I love this background so much. I love these kind of like cute backgrounds. So I actually going to change that now. Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to keep the Nightmare Soldiers background for now because I want to see if this one does change the time of day like the backgrounds on this one, which was a really cool detail that they added to these that I really hope they kind of keep if they keep doing this. The brightness, this is not max brightness. It could be even brighter. Keep in mind, higher the brightness, the more, you know, battery it's going to take. These batteries, at least on this, these batteries last a long time. Like one charge, Type-C charging, which is great. One charge, like easily possibly a month like this has just been sitting on my desk for a while and it's finally telling me it's low on battery these things last really long uh the sound you can turn off or you can lower the sound because the sound on this is super super loud and then there's a power option and if you press a and c just like a classic device that will shut off the sound as well the sound option is just like how loud it is or if you just want it off entirely without you press a and c and that's pretty much it i mean this is like a pendulum you can draw grass with this which is really fun so when you do so i actually i don't i didn't see the option maybe it's yeah okay so going one more down here you have the change option i think you're allowed like on these only three total digimon so one active two backups and with those you can actually jogress on one device you don't have to worry about getting a second one um so you can still jogress on here with yourself which is very fun which i will be doing because i again i only only bought one and that's that's really it for now so that's what i'm just gonna put out for for this i, I cannot believe this i just i i oh, i'm so happy look how beautiful that is and we'll be battling these two as soon as i can as soon as this one becomes a rookie so thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you when i see you peace